Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com. Today it's Motion Graphics Monday, which means that we're going to be talking about something motion graphics related. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a write-on text effect, which is a really popular thing in vlogs or travel videos, and it's really fun to do. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and we're going to check out how to create this, a really awesome effect and really simple to do actually. So if you're a beginner, I will go through all the... So I will be going step by step on how to achieve this effect, a really cool way to show off your titles when you're going on a travel or a really cool style to... A, a really cool way to show off the locations of where you're traveling to or anything like that so if you haven't seen my video on making your titles pop definitely go and check that one out it's really important that you know how to make a title pop for example in this video it's a really good example on how to make a title pop because the background is a little darker and the colors are also very different from the wine because sometimes if you're going to film something that is quite white or quite bright it's going to be very difficult to read your title so that's one of the tips that I covered in that video and just a really simple video that I get you through all the steps uh, how to make your titles pop and is really handy if you're uh, going to combine that with a title like this one here so um, what I have here is a video clip I will delete all my clips right here except for the video file so if you have a video file only let's delete everything here in project manager and just drag in my video file um, just like uh, we're starting a new project so drag it into a new item right here then I'm going to zoom in here a little bit on my timeline and uh, I will play back my video. So here I want my tile to be. So what I will do is go to the text tool right here in my toolbox, uh, click on the type tool and yeah, type your text. So Altea wishes in Spain and I saw a really cool beach. I wanted to um, make a video of it. So here I'm writing Altea. I'm using the font Gloss and Bloom. It's one of the uh, coolest fonts for this type of effect because it's a really kind of uh, grungy, kind of playful, um, font and it just works with all kinds of travel videos in my opinion so uh, we chose our gloss and bloom we can also resize it a little bit maybe make it just a little bit bigger uh, so select our text actually and make it maybe just a little bit bigger there we go and then I will go to my essential graphics panel right here if you don't see that you can go to window essential graphics uh, right here make sure that it's checked on and then select your Altea text right here or your text uh, and select it and go to the align and transform and just align it by clicking on these two icons and that will make your text perfectly centered in your preview monitor right here okay so now we have our text uh, we want to add something like an extra detail to it what you can do is actually use some kind of brushes uh, we're actually working on a brush pack right now so uh, it's not finished yet it's not online but I'm working hard to get it finished as soon as possible and then you will see a link uh, appearing in the description below where you will be able to uh, get that pack so I'm going to import something uh, just quickly just as an example this is what uh, the brush pack will contain so uh, for example I really like the 77 here for uh, this one I'm going to open that up and I'm going to drag that onto a new layer right here so now we have this uh, brush here and I will go to effects and just search for the tint effect and apply that to my brush so right here then go to the effects controls and change the black to white which will make your brush um, turn white instead of a black brush and then of course we want to rotate it a little bit to fit into our scene maybe something like this also move it uh, a little bit more down so um, let it position right below our title and what you can do as well is just uh, uncheck uniform scaling right here and maybe decrease the height a little bit to make it a little bit slimmer uh, like that and then also rotate it again to make it fit and um, there we go so now we have a nice brush below our title it uh, kind of adds a detail to make it a little bit more like a logo instead of just a simple text uh, and it, yeah it will just show off that you put more effort into your title so um, now what we want to do is actually write on our title but before we do that I want to select these two layers and actually extend these two layers to actually fit the time of our um, original video Okay, so go to the effects again, and now we're going to search for write-on. And write-on is actually under video effects, generate, 
and right on effect. We're going to apply that to our text. So drag it on top of your text layer, which is Altea right here. And then uh, we have it right here in our effects controls. We can actually close our text right on effect. Okay, so we have it right here, great. I'm going to change the color of my right on effect because now it's going to be white. And if we're going to increase the brush size, for example, to 35, you're going to see a uh, little ball, like a little brush appearing right here, but you're not going to see the difference between your brush and your text. And when you're actually uh, animating your brush, uh, you're not going to see that your text is uh, coming true or not. So uh, we want it, want it to be a very specific color that is completely different from our text. So if you're using a red uh, text, white would be good. Uh, but in this case, I will just turn this to a red color. And now you will actually see very clearly that your brush is right here. Then the brush, uh, brush size uh, should be around 35. I think that's okay. And then the hardness, we can set it to 100 and the opacity also to 100. The stroke length uh, is actually how long your brush is going to like stay uh, visible. And I, we actually want it to be visible as long as possible because now we're actually going to use this brush uh, if it's animating on as a mask or as a reference where we want the text to appear. So it's very important that we keep this as long as possible. So uh, our scene is around nine seconds long. So let's say if we um, take 10 seconds, that will be enough. If you have a longer scene, you will have to enter more. So you can even go and, and enter 100 if you want to. That's also fine, uh, perfectly fine. For the brush spacing, um, I'm going to show you very quickly what that does. So what I will do now is go to my project moni uh, monitor and actually go over here and zoom in a little bit like 150. So we see it a little bit closer and then I'm gonna, uh, also going to move it. So my text is perfectly into the monitor and I can concentrate only on my text. All right, so uh, what I will do is uh, go to the beginning of my timeline right here in the effects controls and create a new keyframe for the brush position. So click on the stopwatch right, right here, which will create a keyframe and then we can animate this right on effect. Unfortunately, it doesn't work the same like in After Effects. Uh, in After Effects, it actually works with uh, just a drawing mask that you put on top of it. Here you have to do it manually, so frame by frame animation. So you'll have to position this brush um, by frames and then it's going to animate. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying right now, just follow along and you'll uh, realize what we're doing in a, a second. So I'm going to select my selection tool right here and I'm going to move my brush by clicking on the right on effect. Uh, you're going to see that something appears here. If we click away, you just see a red dot. And if you click on the effect, you will see that you create a little ball in the center. If you click on that and drag it, you can actually drag over your brush. So make sure it's uh, outside of our text right here to start off and that we have a keyframe right here. Then I'm going to hold shift and press the arrow. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics, and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own, or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. Uh, on my keyboard and then it's going to move if you're going to zoom in here uh, 10 frames so it's going to move 10 frames as you can see right here by holding shift and the right arrow and um, then after 10 frames we actually want to drag this all the way till the top and now we can actually see the perfect example like let's drag it right over here we can see the example of the stroke length uh, no the uh, brush spacing I'm sorry so the brush spacing actually gives it too much spacing because it's uh, a too fast animation. So what we want to do is lower this as low as possible. So I'm going to click on the value and just uh, press the arrow down key and that will lower it as uh, low as possible. And then you will see that we now have a very nice and straight stroke. Okay, great. So click on the stroke on effect again. And now again, hold shift and press the arrow right key to move again 10 frames forward. And then we will drag this all the way to the bottom. And of course, this effect can be a little bit laggy sometimes. As you can see right now, because we used the red color, we can easily see that right here, we have a leak of our text coming through. So what I will do is actually uh, just return it uh, right over here and make sure that everything is perfectly covered. So right here, I'm going to stop. Okay, and what we can do now is actually move this keyframe a little bit more to the left because this animation can appear a little bit faster and then move over here and we're going to uh, drag this all the way down. 
Then move three keyframes. This is um, this we do by just uh, tapping the arrow right key three times. One, two, three. And now we move three times and we are going to move it over here. Then again, uh, maybe 10 frames. So hold shift, arrow right, and then move it all the way to here. And we can still see that we are leaking through a little bit of the um, text. What you can do is actually manually key, uh, select these dots that you see right here and move them just a little bit. And now our text is perfectly in center here. Okay, so now again, uh, five frames maybe. So tap fives, uh, five times the arrow right. One, two, three, four, five. Move it down right over here. And actually we can do this a little bit uh, very yeah, kind of roughly. So what I will do is actually speed up this process while I'm going to cover the entire text frame by frame. So as you can see, I'm, I'm working with these frames right here. If you zoom out, uh, you can just uh, still animate the position here. If you have like a short uh, animation that you have to do, uh, make it faster. And if you have a longer distance to travel, uh, make the keyframes also farther apart. So you, in the end, you have a kind of consistent animation. So uh, 10 frames forward again, or actually five frames forward. I will do this and let's go. And here when we're going to have like more angles, I'm going to keep shorter distance um, between my animation right here. We did an animation from here to here. Now I'm just doing these short animations. So that also means that my keyframes are going to be a little bit closer together and like three keyframes uh, each time I do animation. So I just tap one, two, three on my arrow right. And then I just move it over a little bit like this. Again, three frames and move it over. Okay, so now my text is entirely covered and we can see that no white is leaking through here. So now what we want to do is just go to the paint style and currently it's set at on original image, on original image. We want to change that to reveal the original image and that will reveal our text uh, when the brush is entirely covering our text. So if we're going like in the center, we're going to see that uh, our brush right on effect is appearing right here. So if we go all the way to the beginning and preview this, so uh, we'll fit this again to the comp, we'll see a nice animation of our text being written on the screen. And of course, it depends on how you write it. For example, here, the T animation, I don't really like it. I preferred it in the uh, preview. Um, but yeah, you can play around with all these settings. And now what you can do as well for the brush here, you can do the same kind of technique with the write on effect, but it's not necessary. You can just easily click on this uh, image and search for a linear wipe uh, transition here and just apply that to your PNG image and then set it at 100. Click on stopwatch, move this keyframe over a little bit and then set it to zero and then just feather it like 50 and then in the center you're going to see that uh, we're going to have an animation of the brush getting written on in 10 frames. So this keyframe is right here, 10 frames forward, um, actually in 10 frames, 220 keyframes maybe, move this keyframe over. Okay, so now let's preview. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, motion graphics artists and so on. And if you buy something from our website, it really helps to support the channel. So that would mean a lot and I hope to see you in the next one. And good